The money to pay for the border wall is an issue that's been talked about a lot lately, but some say border issues like that can actually affect the land and the animals that live on it. This Saturday, KGUN 9 will present a special called Securing the Arizona Border, A Country Divided. And this morning's preview, 9 on your side's Craig Smith and photographer John Perra travel to an area that's seeing some of that env environmental impact. Out of the way part of the border, a U.S. Navy construction crew is busy building a bridge. On days when the Santa Cruz River is running, the bridge will help Border Patrol trucks move across the border fence looking for people crossing illegally. But Dan Millis of the Sierra Club worries about what border building does to the natural world. Everything that happens here is eventually flowing downstream through Green Valley toward Tucson and beyond. So this is something that matters to everybody since for a long time Santa Cruz River has been one of the only reliable sources of surface water in this area. Milla says there's no proof this project meets environmental safeguards. It doesn't have to. In 2005, Congress passed the Real ID Act, meant to tighten federal protections on identification, terrorism, and immigration. Section 102 includes language designed to make sure regulations do not delay border barriers or roads for border patrol. It says in part, the Secretary of Homeland Security shall have the authority to waive all legal requirements, such secretary, in such secretary's sole discretion, determines necessary to ensure expeditious construction of the barriers and roads under this section. In a written response, Customs Border Protection cites a 1996 law for its authority to waive environmental rules to streamline border construction. It says this work will install box culverts to allow water flow and a dirt road Border Patrol agents will be able to drive over. CBP says the low vehicle barrier at this spot will be reinstalled after construction. The agency says construction crews have been training in what CBP calls environmental stewardship and will have biological monitors on site. Dan Millis of Sierra Club says border walls keep endangered animals like the jaguar from having the freedom to roam they would need to survive, and they restrict less exotic animals like deer and bears. Is there a way to reduce illegal crossing and still take care of some of your concerns here? Absolutely, and that's why we need to address the root causes and look at why are people crossing the border? Why aren't people coming through the ports of entry? Well, the fact is people are coming through the ports of entry for the most part, and there's very little traffic through here. There are places where border crossers leave trash as they pass through ranches or parks and other public lands. But Dan Millis says that's an environmental impact volunteers can clean up while construction leaves a more enduring mark. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Well, again, that special is going to air this weekend. You'll hear, hear from both Arizona senators, border sheriffs, and ranchers. That's coming up Saturday, May 25th at 4 p.m.